She was a prolific painter. For the three decades of her life that she was a professional artist, she created more than 1,500 canvases of artwork. That means that she was painting about 50 canvases per year or about a painting every week. Hi, this is Anita from 5 Minutes with Art. Today I want to talk a little bit about one of my favorite artists, Grandma Moses. Grandma Moses is an American painter who actually called by the name Grandma Moses. She sold her first painting at the age of 79. In fact, she started painting at the age of 78. And the reason why she started painting was she was doing a lot of quilting and her fingers were having problems and someone suggested maybe start painting. And I started to paint these pictures of kind of this idyllic life in New England. And she didn't have much materials when she first started. In fact, she didn't have a little small brush, so she'd use the back of little matchsticks in order to get some of the detail. Hallmark has reproduced her work more than maybe some other artists, especially artists for during her time. She, in her lifetime, became to have a lot of her work done onto, you know, greeting cards. Um, in fact, they said that she sold over 16 million greeting cards in 1947 alone. She was massively popular during her lifetime. She had her designs would be on fabric, be plates and other things. And um, someone even produced a record called the Grandma Moses Suite. So this shows that during her lifetime, later in her life, when she started painting at the age of 78, she became wildly popular. She was a 100% self-taught artist. She came from a family that didn't have much money. So at the age of 12, she became a maid. So she never had the opportunity to go to art school at all. She raised quite a large family. She lived in the rural New England area. She had 10 children and only five of those children lived into adulthood. So it's because of the fact that she had these 10 children that she was, you know, would have been quite a bit older for during her day that people started to call her Grandma Moses and that name sort of stuck and was used for all of her paintings. She was a prolific painter. For the three decades of her life that she was a professional artist, she created more than 1,500 canvases of artwork. That means that she was painting about 50 canvases per year or about a painting every week. At first, her paintings would sell for 3 to $5, depending on the size. But as her fame began to increase, it began to be $8,000 to $10,000. And then she had one painting that sold for a record. In 2006, it sold for $1.2 million. It's also um, on a U.S. postage stamp. And she has one of her paintings, which is in the uh, White House. When you look at her painting, she's actually, you know, it has very much sort of an American style. But what I find so interesting about her is that she is somebody who started painting at such an um, older age of age 78. And she shows us all that, you know, that you can do anything at any age, that you're never too old to start painting, and that you're never too old to be able to learn something new. Painting was always her childhood dream. It was something she always wanted to do. And for her, she was not able to fulfill this until after her husband died, until she was older and then she was finally able to fulfill this dream of becoming a full-time painter. Grandma Moses also shows us all the power of believing in yourself at any age that you are and believing in your style of artwork. Her style of artwork has a very specific style. It's kind of a bit of a, a primitive technique, but yet that primitive technique resonated with her own audience. And she was been, you know, featured on the Time magazine and really received a lot of prestige during her lifetime. You know, it's artists like Grandma Moses that sort of inspire me and make me realize that you're never too old to learn to paint. You're never too old to learn to have your dream. That is kind of what Grandma Moses teaches us and why I love and appreciate Grandma Moses and her paintings so much. The 5 Minutes with Art podcast is brought to you by AnitaLouiseArt.com. We'll put a link below to our blog and to our website in the description. Thank you so much for listening. We truly do appreciate your support and we hope that you've enjoyed joining with us for five minutes a week to be able to learn some interesting facts and other things about art and the art world. Share this podcast with your friends and let them know about it.
And we hope that you will also subscribe and become part of our community. Thank you again.